Why he's got two special guests on the show tonight. But I think Joel should first tell us what folks online are saying. Joel. I can tell you what folks online are saying, but before I say that, what Philip probably didn't tell you is that when they've lost the match at NTV, as an NTV team, I wasn't playing. I have a fractured metatarsal, so <laughs> apparently uh, doctors advised against it. But when I come back, uh, normal service will resume. All right, let's go to Twitter and uh, uh, find out what, who is saying what, uh, because we did ask. Uh, who is your favorite defender to ever don the Uganda Cranes jersey? We have Derek Dege, who's watching us, by the way, from South Korea. Thank you very much. Derek says, Jimmy Chirunda is, in my opinion, the greatest defender Uganda has seen. Uh, the goal at the death that sealed the Cranes qualification to the AFCON in 1978 will live long in memory of soccer enthusiasts. Banaba says, Obugalova NTV Okua X International Omulimu. I don't know if I say that right. But uh, you being uh, the ardent 12 wishers of footballers during and after football, Ochora Philip says, undoubtedly, my, base, my best player ever in Uganda. Ham Parker also says, he is a le legend, no doubt, but how does it feel to have played for both the legendary clubs, SC Villa and Express? And uh, Joe Baebale says, uh, thanks NTV for hosting my childhood legend in secondary school. I used to call myself Obwing what a legend so keep the comments coming uh, of course he works here now we can always bring him back if we need to clarify anything on that matter earlier i told you i had three special guests on my set tonight and they are right here with me we have hamza Nyam uh, nyambogo who is also the director of the fiba three on three uh, africa cup that's happening this friday to sunday and of course next to him is rita imanishimwe jkl lady dolphins guys Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Before we get started with the serious stuff, there's one panelist, and I'm not mentioning names, who says he plays, he still plays basketball, and he can twist you inside out and alley hoop in your face. And I'm not saying it's Mark Sally. Uh, it's, uh, it's very good to have dreams. <laughs> Even at the old age, you can't stop someone from dreaming. So. Uh, if he's uh, Mark Sally, maybe he can pass a message. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the, to the person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mark Sally, I think you've heard that. All right, let's get to the serious stuff. Um, we are hosting this FIBA 3-on-3 three three Challenge Africa Cup this Friday. Are we ready? Is the stadium in perfect condition? Because we know previous uh, events haven't gone away. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, it's uh, FIBA 3x3. Three three. Mm -hmm. It's the top national team event for the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be playing from the hockey pitch. Uh, we'll not be inside the Lugogo Arena unless the weather changes. So what preparations are they putting on the hockey pitch then? Uh, we have a special floor mm -hmm. that uh, we are going to lay on the outside. And uh, it will be an exciting event. Okay. Yes. Uh, so when this kind of things happen, does it mean it's uh, FIBA who come in to set up everything and not is not left to... The local uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, the local organizing committee, which is made up of uh, people from the national federation, basically do all the organizing. What FIBA does is provide uh, expertise with regards to TV production, because the games yeah. are showcased live, mm -hmm. and also with regards to officiating, because three-on-three is a new discipline, and uh, we don't have so many qualified referees, so FIBA brings in the expertise with regards to referees and also game management, uh, fixture management. But the local committee does everything else with regards to production. Rita, welcome to the show, first of all. And I must say congratulations for winning the FIBA yeah, Zone 5 qualifiers in Dar es Salaam last, was it last week? La, two weeks back. Two weeks back. Yeah. How was the competition there and what did you learn experience-wise from the tournament? Uh, it was quite tough because uh, Kenya had their biggest teams around. So it was uh, challenging, but uh, we had a good squad that we believed in and we had prepared well enough to go out and compete, yeah. Uh, you played in Qatar, for, uh, on the, uh, the three by three in Qatar. You played in China, you played in Rabat, Morocco for the All Africa Games. Mm -hmm. How have those tournaments shaped you up and uh, you know, prepared you for this weekend's uh, tournament? Uh, it has been quite uh, an experience, uh, uh, us going for all these tournaments and being able to compete quite well because uh, it has uh, improved our rankings and uh, three and three 
uh, being a, a, a sport that uh, has three people on court yeah. at a time, yeah. it kind of improves your skills and uh, your your thinking capacity, the game mind. Uh, it gives you, uh, it uh, gets you to be creative on the court and I believe we are ready to come out and compete this weekend. Yeah. You need to be versatile. Hamza, um, what, first tell us about the teams that are coming to participate, one, and uh, what kind of challenge uh, from a director's point of view and from a coach's point of view are you expecting from the nationalities that are coming? Uh, well, for this event, we have two categories. We have the under-18 category, which is the first time ever in Africa that we have uh, Africa three-on-three three for under-18. Uh, and then we have the open category, which is uh, for anyone, including uh, Max Ali. So <laughs> we could include him in one of the games <laughs> and he would be able to play. Yeah, so the two categories. For the under-18 category, we have eight teams for boys and eight teams for uh, girls. For the open category, we have uh, we have 12 teams for men, so that's a full house for the men, and then we have 10 teams for the women. Um, well, with regards to the challenges, well, three on three is new. Uh, it's just moved from the streets, and actually this week they had the first draw to nominate the mm. first teams to play in the Olympic Games. So three on three now is officially an Olympic sport, and. Uh, well, with regards to challenges as a director, you have to dream big. I dream big of seeing Uganda play at the Olympic stage. Uh, the five on five has possibilities. Three on three has amazing possibilities to get us there. So this is just one of the events that I see uh, we could use towards uh, working towards an Olympic dream in the future. You've talked about an Olympic dream. How far are we in your, you know, in your, if, if you look at matters now, how far are we from making that Olympic dream a reality? For, with regards to three on three, I believe it is a reachable dream. Uh, this year we had a shortfall because we did not organize so many uh, local events, despite taking a lot of international events. But uh, if you look at the world ranking, we, as Africa, we are really placed highly uh, with regards to ranking. Uganda is mm -hmm. ranked number one with regards to women. And uh, the boys are ranked fifth. And normally three on three, there's national federation ranking and individual ranking. Yeah. And qualification for Olympic is based a lot on uh, universality, which is a national federation ranking. Yeah. So the more we work hard as a nation, the higher our chances uh, towards qualifying for Olympics. Good stuff. Uh, I wanted to ask you this question, but let me ask Rita, uh, what times uh, are you guys playing? When are you playing? And uh, what do you want to tell the fans for watching? Uh, we play on uh, on Friday yeah. at 8:45 p.m. That will be our first game at uh, the hockey pitch, yeah. as he said earlier. Who are uh, your first opponents? Uh, Kenya. Okay. So what I can say to the fans out there is, you guys will be our greatest thing around, because uh, on the court will be three of us. But then the, we need that fourth voice out there from the crowd, I uh, would like to call everyone to come around and support us as we play. Fantastic. Many thanks. Any, any team you think will give you problems as uh, we wrap up? Yeah, yeah, sure. They'll, there will a be tough teams, opponents. Yeah, like Nigeria and okay. Mali. They've always given us a hard time, but we've prepared enough to take them on. Fantastic. It's been a pleasure having you guys here. We'll definitely uh, make way to the hockey grounds and watch you guys play and see what kind of progress you're making uh, in the sport and in three on three. Yeah. True. And uh, probably if you can't make it to the hockey grounds, please check the FIBA three on three YouTube. The games will be streamlined uh, live so you can catch the games from there. Right. Now over the weekend, we had a stumble uh, in, uh, old, uh, with Old Trafford team Manchester United losing to Bournemouth and also Arsenal dropping points at home to Wolverhampton. We are coming up with the English Premier League. Well, all you guys have been asking for it right after this break. <laughs>